Gilchrist is on strike. Oh, what a stunning off drive. Four from the last ball, 20 for one. The uh, seam bowling, isn't it, so far in this match, is despite Warney's Pfeiffer. Well, boys, he struck that family, but again, Murley misses it. He missed one earlier uh, of Zeus's bowling, and that's going to go through for four again. You shouldn't miss those. As much as he's hit it hard, you make the ground, you get there, you should stop it. He wouldn't be too happy if he was bowling and somebody did it. Yes, unlike uh, Murli Dharan, uh, Jeff is uh, one of the fielders who uh, usually gives 100% uh, when he's on the field. But I think uh, the fact that he's uh, earlier injured his shoulder diving, I think that's one of the reasons that he's a bit reluctant to throw himself at uh, balls which uh, are going just wide past him. Yeah, I'm probably being a bit hard at, uh, well, just looking at that replay, I mean, uh, Vash should have stopped it himself, probably. It wasn't too far from him. Well, this might run away for four. I don't think he's going to put that in. Wakarachi won't pull that in. It's another useful boundary for Australia. Well, that's a beautiful shot. That's uh, what we're accustomed to from uh, Gilchrist. One stride straight out of good swing of the bat, smashing it through covers. From the uh, southern end. Adam Gilchrist on strike, no bother running for that, that's going to go for four. Off the back foot, punches it through the covers, going to bring up the Australian 50. Very good shot, but uh, well, a poorish delivery there from Vass, just a half track up. Well, so 11. Don't you love it, people that come to the game and do their own scoring. And Gilchrist down, and that's almost a slog. Got his feet going in the right direction, did he, and those uh, other previous innings that we saw you got a good ball to start with and like I said before you can get out this is more like it that's going to bring up the 50 that's going to be a six that's gone the full journey beautiful struck delivery of that one down he goes and just thump that he's got power to burn no well it depends where he drags it from doesn't he that one but he, he seems to take his eye off it Alan I, I know she said that before but I was just watching there well that's better he's kept the head down listen to the noise of the that ball hitting the bat, and that's going to bring up his 50. The Aussies get to their feet, wave the flags. They're happy to see Gil Christen full flight. And I'll tell you what, if you see him stay out there this afternoon, I think you will see some shots. That one there just raced to the boundary. Well, Jeffrey, you called it. He hasn't been watching the ball playing the sweep shot. And that is a fantastic 50 for himself and Australia. On this occasion, he watches the ball right onto the bat. And right into the middle of the bat. And Day, Sri Lanka piling on the pane and uh, finish up at 381. But the pendulum did turn towards the end of that innings. I know it sounds silly with uh, Australia uh, conceding 161 runs, but it could have been a lot worse. Well, the slash over the top. And, and that uh, gets the Aussies' noses in front. Is complimenting each other. That was beautifully played on the onside. What a great shot. The Gilchrist responds down the track and this time through the offside. Another boundary. Gilchrist sweeps and that's gone all the way. Four more. Gaining in confidence. In the air, but through. Gilchrist very strong in this region. Backward of points, nine off the over. Australia now, 135 for two. What a beautiful shot. That's in the gap for four more. I'm He's belted that, and it's over the top. I think he caught it, but stumbled over. He did. Good one, but it was going over anyway. He couldn't stop himself getting over the road. Great effort, but it's six anyway. 158 for two. Defence against Tamuli in particular. 
97 Gilchrist driving in the air but say that will be his 10th test 100 in his 53rd test match and a wonderful contribution Australia deep in the mire when Gilchrist came to the crease at number three today in the absence of his injured captain Ricky Potty and that is a terrific hundred oh yes a fine hundred indeed as you would see it's a very popular player Adam Gilchrist and um, no wonder the fans are just delighted it's been a fine innings he's played brilliant event on both sides of the, the wicket and um, just look at this um, the emotion uh, when he does make a hundred and he can really be devastating after that Australians will hammer it away, bludgeoned through the mid wicket region for four. He's played some glorious shots. Uh, Adam Gilchrist is the real powerhouse. And put a couple of Aussie names there. Gilchrist down, long, high, six. Well, he's really treating Murlivan with this den as well, coming down and um, going through with the shot. Oh, and once again, Gilchrist just flirts with it outside the off stump. This time he does get enough bat on it. Get it down the boundary, down the boundary. Four. We've got a game with a bat and six runs. Six wickets, sorry. Well, that's going to be for a beautiful shot there. The pitch on leg stump. Got everything it deserved. Most definitely. Nuan Soiza in this spell. So far in the few deliveries, he's bold. He's uh, just running and rolled his arm over. Well, dabbed away again. Nobody there. No third man. Well, you can't pull short. Outside off stump with no third man. Dearie me. Gone forward on the crease there. Well, this time he's paid the price. Mirror has done him all ends up. And that's what they wanted. Now, when you think about it, had they caught Martin the over before, they would have had two wickets already this morning. Australia would have been in a spot of bother. Anyway, first wicket down. Yes, I think this really is a big play to end. Clever bowling by Murlither and got the feeling that uh, he was pushing it through a little quicker this morning and that straightened on Gilchrist. There was no doubt uh, a very good decision again by Ampa Orchard and Gadam Gilchrist goes 144, 226 for three.